Cristiano Ronaldo has a lot more pull and power than people could imagine. With one single move, he was able to cost a major company billions of dollars. And that is what he means from a marketability standpoint. He is more powerful than anyone could imagine. Cristiano Ronaldo literally missed all of Manchester United's preseason tour to Thailand and Australia amid doubts over his future at the club. United has admitted that the 37-year-old forward has been requested to be released this summer transfer window in search of a participant in the upcoming UEFA Champions League. That's his tournament, and he will not take anything less. The Portugal star has reportedly asked to leave United for sure, and the last friendly he was subbed off against Rayo Vallecano in pure Gareth Bell fashion, he stormed off the field and left the venue. He walked out on his teammates, again, with absolutely no hesitation. Opening game of the Premier League season was on the bench against Brighton and Manchester United lost the match at Old Trafford. The reality is Ronaldo is not happy with the fact that no team wants him and in a weird turn of events, the two teams that did want him are sponsored by Coca-Cola. The most popular soda company has him on a blacklist, simple as that. Cristiano Ronaldo's removal of the two Coca-Cola bottles at the Euro 2020 at the news conference coincided with a $4 billion drop in the market value of the American drink company. El Bicho was visibly troubled when he saw two bottles of the carbonated soft drink in front of him as he sat down to speak to the media and decided to not partake in product placement. Ronaldo, an advocate of a healthy diet, moved the glass bottles out of the camera frame and instead put a bottle of water and said in Portuguese, water. Coca-Cola, an official sponsor of Euro 2020 and many other teams, some which are interested in El Bicho, responded in a statement, everyone is entitled to their drink preferences, with different tastes and needs. Since this occurs, Coca-Cola and CR7 do not see eye to eye. So. While there are many other options and destinations for El Comandante, there is no way to ignore the elephant in the room and closing this deal, in general, with any team that has Coca-Cola as a sponsor is very unlikely. The power of the brand and healthy diet. The fact that it affected them in the market this profoundly just tells you the marketing power of Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano has a contract working against him, his age working against him, and now Coca-Cola as well. Any team involved won't be able to sign him unless they are willing to lose millions of dollars in the process. What do you think of Coca-Cola playing a part in Cristiano Ronaldo not signing with some important teams due to their dislike of him? We'll read you in the comments and in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe.